Greetings to all my YouTube viewers and I welcome you all to the channel Physics for Us. Uh, recently we have heard of the Nobel Prize being awarded for physics and it was because last time it was for quantum computing and this year it is for optical materials. Namely we were able to send photon pulses in a atto second and we were able to establish the connection between light and matter. So what is this atto second? A T T O S E C O N D. Atto second, we have heard of micro, which is 10 to the power of minus 6, nano, 10 to the power of minus 9. Atto second is 10 to the power of minus 18 second. So imagine how fast the photon pulse is going to travel. It is traveling in atto second. So we are now probing into the finest details of light and photons. Um, we had three people for whom the Nobel Prize of Physics was awarded for 2023, Pairi Agostini, Ferenc Krauss and Annie Hewler. Annie Hewler is madam, she is Annie madam is from uh, Max Planck Institute of Physics from Germany. In fact, the ideal part or I will say the interesting part was she was a she is a teacher and she was teaching for the students. When she was in the class, she received the call from Royal a Swedish Academy of Sciences. We all know Nobel Prize is awarded by Royal Academy. And when she got the information, she was in the midway of a class that she did not pick the call. And after finishing her classes, she just came outside and she just attended the call and she got the information. She said, I'm right now going back to the class. Coming back, I will like connect in detail. Look at the dedication a teacher had. Teacher profession is such a noble profession. No wonder science teachers are king makers in the world. So whoever has thought Annie Ma'am had the same values which they imparted to Annie Ma'am. And Annie when Ma'am when she was in the class, she had got the call from the for the Nobel Prize being announced. And these three people had shared the Nobel Prize for the atto second photon pulses studying the uh, spin dynamics of the materials. Uh, this topic may be sounding very maybe very abstract or very uh, different. It is all to do with a part of a physics or I will say a branch of physics where so much is being studied on light matter interaction. The photon when it is striking a solid surface, there is so much happening there. We all know under the earth, you have the uh, big, you know, rocks being like moving every time. And when there is a distortion in the rock movement, there is an earthquake. Similarly, in solids also, you have the atoms, the electrons which are revolving around the nucleus continuously. They have very various interesting phenomena. They, they undergo vibration, they undergo the spin movement, they undergo the orbital motion and because of this there are some lattice vibrations which is leading to interesting topics like photoluminescence and then you know, phosphorescence, fluorescence and all that. These are all different optical uh, features. So when photon strikes a solid surface because of the difference in the vibration of the electron there are some interesting phenomena being observed. So the same concept, the three Nobel Prize awardees have studied in detail and they have studied on this atto second physics, a separate branch of physics dealing with the light matter interaction and there are, they had unrevealed numerous, you know, new concepts from there. Right. So what is this Nobel Prize? We all know Nobel Prize is actually named after the great philanthropist Alfred Nobel. So he was, if you see his life history, it's so interesting. He had been, uh, you know, he was from Sweden family. He had a very interesting childhood because his father was also a scientist and he headed a very uh, royal Sweden family where he had private tutors to teach him science and other stuffs. He knows many languages. So he knows his, uh, you know, Russian, Italian and then uh, Swedish, Dutch and all that neighboring European languages, apart from that English also. Alfred Nobel, his entire life, he had been alone. He didn't have a very successful personal or I will say a marriage life. There are some theories saying that his third love was again, she was a, she was a person her, like as a secretary and she had been working with him throughout and she was the one who influenced Alfred Nobel in writing a will 
to because he had huge property so his last will said that there will be some prizes being awarded every year in the field of physics chemistry physiology and uh, especially for peace this uh, award for peace was actually influenced by his lady love the third lady love there are also like stories saying that way and his entire lonely hood and he spent all his lifetime in learning different concepts and he was also like you know doing some contributions in the explosive explosive material namely nitroglycerin and that is behind the formation or the generation of this dynamite so his dynamite industry was like it's not a big industry it was a company which he had it was making some explosives and he was uh, he had he owned his own patent right for that also alfred nobel had been a very philanthropic person that he wanted to spend his entire money only for very finest i will say very advanced science discoveries so whatever is going to uh, serve the human life always science and human life is strongly connected why we uh, keep you know why we keep always keep encouraging research because research is going to be helpful for the human mankind whatever social issues we have we think of a new product and that is where research falls in alfred nobel had written a poem actually nemesis the title of the poem is nemesis in english and during the book printing he was actually in his dead bed and he passed away after he passed away all his uh, printed books on his poetry were actually destroyed uh, re- remaining only three copies were actually preserved so all these are about alfred nobel it will be more interesting if i say alfred nobel is the man behind this nobel prize and today we are all working in different parts of physics and different science origin and we contribute so much for the research and let us all uh, let any one indian like and let us all as being indian let us have more uh, nobel prize winners from india for the field of physics after sir c v raman we are still yearning for one amongst our indian society to you know get this award okay now who will is the first uh, you know physics person who is the first physicist who received a nobel prize award was william ronchen William Ronchen we all know he is a physicist who had german physicist who had discovered the x rays today medicine field we are able to first today we have many types of scan we have ct scan mri scan and different topographical scans but the initial fundamental scanning is the x ray scanning and without x rays we couldn't have had this x ray scanning william ronchen is the german physicist behind that he had actually born in uh, he was born in a european country he was there his childhood days he was doing a schooling in utrecht in netherlands in utrecht school technical school he was actually sent away for a mistake that one of his friend had drawn a caricature feature of his uh, faculty which was on the painted on the wall that the teacher had complained on him and william ronchen was sent away from utrecht school and then he had joined munich university in the uh, you know in the mechanical engineering field after after many years of you know private schooling and all that stuff because of his brilliance in science he joined his mechanical engineering and finished his phd in the same field and then he discovered this x rays so x rays are like worldwide used fundamental technique in medicine where is there any problem with, is there any uh, you know uh, fracture in the small crack in the bones it was easily diagnosed with x rays so he was the first person to get a nobel prize for physics and the youngest person in physics was he was aged 25 and you have this like such kind of history nobel prize for physics in this way physics plays a very important role in nobel prizes and uh, the right from the eminent scientist till the common layman everybody is like aware of this nobel prize award nobel prize is something like regarding the highest amongst us so with that note i would like to conclude my speech i would like to sign off saying that there will be more talk on nobel prize there will be more you know people coming for nobel prize in near future thank you thank you all and thank you so much for watching my video please like share subscribe and write your comments in the comments box below thank you for all your support thank you so much